Hi there. I have zero idea where I left off. I don't feel like doing an intro today. We're gonna jump right into it. You seem a little down. Call on me anytime. I've got all... I'm gonna, I'm gonna unblur that, like leave it uncensored. I don't know if I'm gonna get demonetized for that. That's a great way to start a video. Right, we found this piece of fabric. Okay. Right! I need to talk to the fortune teller. I need to go to the gym. So, here we go, ready? And there we go. Okay, uh, they should still be in here. This guy, oh yeah, she died, didn't she? This guy. Hey, hero, can I ask you something? Uh, <laughs> shut up, thank you. What are you doing here? Does this look familiar? That's my crystal ball, but it's all smashed. I only I only bought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable, so how did it break? What is actually, <laughs> that guy totally tooted me. I never control the crystal ball. Dude, how old are you again? Uh, so you can say without a doubt this belonged to you. Yeah, it's mine for sure. I probably forgot in the laundry room last night. Someone must come by and snatched it. Oh, you left it in the laundry room? Anyone could have found it and taken it. Okay, so that helps nothing at all. By the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? Everything. <laughs> Oh, sure, pal. I don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I don't believe you saved up a million dollars in two years from Fortune Tell. Well, no. Okay, laundry room. This isn't helpful at all. So, uh. Three hours later. Oh. I disagree with that. <laughs> I don't know, man. This guy strikes me as the killer. Now, I'm probably wrong, and I'm not settling on this now, but he is heavily trying to guilt trip us. He is the one who immediately spoke up and asked, hey, by the way, does that mean the murderer can graduate? Also, look at the inside of his shirt. You see the buttons there and notice the little white uh, inside the black? He's wearing a buttoned up shirt. He could easily hide a torn piece of it, especially in his other hand. Uh, now I'm lost. The fat man. Wait, I heard a rumbling like a herd of elephants stamping down the hallway. Who <laughs> missed... Yeah, like a herd of elephants, brother. What? Trying to enter someone's room without the. Yeah, I don't. It's your room. I don't want to go in there anyway. It smells like farts and loneliness. Whether it's related to the case or not, you must respect a person's right to privacy. How did you go all the way? For, do you just sit? You, you got so much. Poor How would they get here without the key? Thanks to Fumu's help, I was able to get. Okay, thanks, man. So is that everything? Close what you open, put away what you take out, sleep after you eat, take. Okay. <laughs> But we still gotta do the actual legwork. One of those things that was definitely not like the others. Okay, I got a coin for helping the fat man. That's great. Am I seeing that there's a room in here? Can I go in here? Yeah, I can. I've never been in here before. Ooh, there's nobody in here. Notice, is there nothing to observe? Okay, I have lemons. Those are not. <laughs> Bunch of vegetables all piled up. I don't see anything noteworthy about any of it. Then there's just a coin in the vegetables. Well, now they taste all coppery. Uh, knife! Oh, there's one missing. There we go. Big to small, but it looks like one of them is missing. Was it missing from the very beginning? Obviously not. Okay. Kitchen knife says been added to the truth bullet set. Hey, knife. Anything to say? Thought it was kind of strange. A knife just suddenly disappeared like that. Oh, so it wasn't missing from the beginning? Nope. Last I remember, they were all lined up in a nice, neat row. So when did you notice one that disappeared? I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back in the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So a knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came in and took it. You should be able to say for sure, tell everyone I didn't come to the dining hall, which proves I didn't take it. Oh, we have an alibi. Okay, but okay. Did you really kill her? Do you really think I killed her? Well, she was killed in your room. You guys are supposed to be friends, but you still... On the other hand, two people becoming good friends and one killing the other is a classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together, I honestly have no idea. That's how my brain works. Oh, is that all we get? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that all we get? Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started? I wasn't done, bro! Oh, no. <laughs> Awaited class trial! 
I'm I'm screwed. Now then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Before we continue, does the game end if I lose, or does it just like restart? Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. The what? The red door, first floor. Thanks. I needed that. Uh, that's where I should go. Yeah, I. <laughs> I hate that I asked and it answered me twice. No, where I have to go. It answered me three times. Okay. That, oh, it, that, that red door. Yeah, I don't need, I didn't have to guess. It's just, okay, here it is. Here we go. You're late. We've all been, shut up. I'm the only one doing anything. I bet you were, okay. Listen to me. Save that for the class trial. There we can all reveal the details of her crime. So they really are convinced I did it. I didn't do it. Me and her, Sayaka both know that all too well. Then who is the killer? I still think it's that one guy. Is it really one of us? Well, duh. Probably. <laughs> is everyone here? Okay, then. Bro said, poo -hoo -hoo. Please board the elevator in front of you, which will transport you to the courtroom. Uh, you gotta understand, which, mind you, this is probably what they'd all be feeling, but I have severe anxiety with these types of things. I would be panicking, shaking. Suddenly, I have to poop really bad. To you, my, I don't care. Well then, the time has finally come. Are you ready? Are they just all gonna say stupid stuff like that? I haven't decided you're the culprit yet. Maybe, but you're obviously leaning that way. Okay, you know what? I'm bored. Here we go. No choice but get on this elevator. Let us begin. Good idea. Scared isn't quite right. I said it before, but it's up to you to uncover the mystery surrounding this case yourself. If you don't, you'll never come to grips with the truth. That I am stupid. That don't work that way. I, I don't. With each step forward, I can feel my heart. Oh boy. I, I, I'm actually anxious. Yep. I wonder if this is how death row inmate. That's a good point. Is it a lot more like a defendant waiting to receive his judgment? Oh, that would suck. Yeah, I could hear that. The elevator lowered us further and further. I'm actually anxious myself because I feel like I'm going to fail and this is going to be a five minute video. What do you think? Doesn't it feel like a real courtroom? No. Yeah, Hollywood set. That's what it feels like. Agreed. Oh, I dropped my fidget. Okay. Ooh. It was such that everyone could see everyone else. Which also meant it'd be easy for anyone to transfer their attention and unease onto anyone else. The air seemed to grow heavy as we sat there. Good artwork, I'll give him that. Curtain on our first case open. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly clash trial. Uh... What? Okay. Set skills. Set what? Increases damage to the opponent when a statement is destroyed. Effective during the bullet time battle. What does that mean? I don't understand any of this, but here we go. All rise. All right. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. Okay. I still live by my statement of that bear sounds like Double D from Ed, Ed, Nettie. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. And the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. I still think that's a terrible way to run things. Let them all stay alive and let the graduated one leave. And they all can live with their failure. Don't just kill everyone. That's just boring, bro. And the killer really is one of us, right? Stop talking. Your voice is terrible. Yeah, I was gonna say. Why the hell would they raise their hand? Before we move on and start the trial, can I ask a question real quick? Yes, mommy. Sorry. What's going on with those pictures? Isn't it obvious? That's where they would stand if they were here. Awful if they got left out just because they died. Friendship penetrates even death's barrier. Friendship penetrates. <laughs> He really is just like me. I feel personally attacked by this man because he's fat like me, he looks like me, and he thinks like me. Ugh. I need to change how I live, bro. 
There were only 15 of us to begin with, so why are there 16 seats? Oh, no reason. It's just that our little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people. Okay. No, there's something more with that. They wouldn't bring that up for no reason. Oh, my bad. Who we think the killer is. Anything I found, anything I noticed, I have to be ready to speak up about everything because this isn't just about me. Everyone's lives are on the line. Your first non-stop debate is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely! As things progress during each class trial, you will engage in a number of non-stop debates. During these discussions, characters will speak one after another without pause. It's up to you to unearth any lies or contradictions buried within their statements. What this means is that you'll have to use your truth bullets to refute what they say. Any relevant truth bullets you found during your investigation will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use your mouse to aim, then fire with the left mouse button. That is gonna go so poorly with me behind the helm, bro. Pay close attention to each character's statements and use your truth bullets to blast the right ones. Note that if you run out of time, you will automatically fail, so please be careful. Press the escape key during these arguments. You can review the controls. Good luck and have fun. This is a terrible idea because I am not good at this. Uh, Evan is a struggle. Uh, uh huh. Yep. Yep. False. False. Something's off about what was just said, because if Sayaka hadn't resisted, there's no explanation for what happened in my room. For this first debate, we'd like to take a quick sidebar. If you're unable to spot and refute someone's lives or contradictions, the argument will repeat. Within a group of statements, some words appear in a different color. Did you notice? No! That represents a potential hole in a person's statement, a possible weak spot. They reveal important, though not always inaccurate, sections of a person's statement. Only effective against these weak spots. I don't notice small details, bro. Take aim and fire, but only if you're sure it's actually wrong. You can fast forward an argument by holding down the control key. Evidence of a struggle. Okay. Right. 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 Here we go. False. 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 What am I doing wrong here? Oh, I'm supposed to do... At the text! I just wasted a whole minute because of that! Ah. <sighs> I didn't realize it meant at the text. I'm an idiot. With the way things had been damaged, I think we can definitely assume there was a struggle. I hate how you talk, bro. A struggle? Between who and who? Between Sayako and the crew, of course. So you're saying Sayako wasn't caught by surprise in the bathroom? She must have been attacked in the main room first. Then she ran to the bathroom to try and hide. The killer followed her in. And that's where they finished the job. That much should have been obvious after taking one look at the scene. It shouldn't even need explaining. Sorry. Okay, so what's next? Next is the subject of the murder weapon. <laughs> I like the way she talks. I don't know why. This is starting to sound like a real trial. It's almost like it is, dumbass. What was used to kill Sai? Well, a knife, right? Kitchen knife set. Duh. Does timer reset or do I? Timer resets. Okay, good, good. I detect no lies. I detect no lies. Nope. I missed it. There we go. Got him. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. That's good. No, I do think it was a knife. But not just any knife. I'm almost positive it was a kitchen knife. <gasps> a kitchen knife? A kitchen knife? After the murder, we discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. Which means that knife must be the murder weapon. Really? I wouldn't have guessed that. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. You could sort of see the weapon sticking out of her stomach. That's a bit of a blunt way to say it. Okay, let's show it. Yeah. I totally see that being a kitchen knife. Yep. Okay. So the murder weapon was a kitchen knife, but where does that get us? I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? Okay. Makoto's room was the scene of the crime. More proof do we need? Hold on a second. I'm. Let's draw our conclusions after we've presented our arguments. Otherwise, what's the point of the trial? See, I like her. True. It's not going to change that conclusion. I don't think that's true at all. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new will reveal itself. See, again, I like her. I do. She's cool. 
Gotta be a breakthrough somewhere just waiting for us to find it. Because I know damn well I'm not the... Well, yeah. Bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Yes! Goodness! Just tell me! Concentrate by holding down the space key. While you're concentrating, time will slow down so you can pay closer attention to what everyone's saying. On top of that, if it'll steady your aim, make it easier to target potential weak spots. Concentrating like this consumes the focus gouge. And if the gouge empties, you can't concentrate. But the focus gouge will recover over time, so let your brain take a rest. No need to rush. I have ADHD. I don't need to focus, but I also need to slow it down to shoot correctly. So, you know, there's that. What's our truth bullet? I always account. Yep. Is that all we get? That's all we get. Okay. Let me see. Focus. Oh, it's a very short amount of time. Okay. Here we go. No, that's wrong. <laughs> this is kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, wait. Hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. Next, you're gonna say you're not the killer, right? Go ahead and say it all you, you want. Oh, she's so set for this, bro. What? what? What do you think, Hina? Huh? Remember what you were telling me earlier? Yep, there you go. I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night and all the knives were still there, but when I finished my tea and went back to the kitchen to wash my glass, one of them was gone. Yep. Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you were in the dining room. I'm digging this. I am. Yeah, that's right. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Um, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? No, he definitely wasn't there. Okay. The knife disappeared while Hina was in the dining I got worried for a second. But I wasn't there the entire time. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife. She could have, though. Then what about this? What if the idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together and lying to protect each other? Dang it, she's got a point. Swimmer girl? That's also rude. Oh, and more importantly, why would I get involved in something like that? Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear, if there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I show everything. It's a good question, regardless of whether he's the murderer or not. It's a good question. To have an accomplice. <gasps> Oh, then there's no point for the accomplice. Two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? But what if they did work together and they just didn't know about the that? Room? See, that's what I was thinking. Uh, good grief. Enough already. No, okay. There are no accomplices in this case. Uh, well, he knows, so he's just like... <laughs> yeah, he knows, so we'll take it. I didn't go to the dining hall. Didn't take the knife. So he just cleared us. The killer. Okay, so then who did take the knife? He not seems the obvious candidate. No, no way. I swear it wasn't me. Sure. But can you or anyone else prove that? All of a sudden it switched to her. Oh, there we go. There we go. Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea. Okay. Uh, I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he's he's me for real. Yeah. Either one of them have grabbed the knife? Actually, no, because um well, just spit it out already. Yeah, I mean, now's a good time to do so. Room last night. Why? I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking. I just asked her to stay over, which means we have airtight alibis. You stayed over? Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorms, but it doesn't say we have to stay in our assigned room, so I don't think that's a problem. Just gonna tell you guys right now, if you can't tell, my suspicion is shifting to the girl now. Shifting from the guy who keeps asking the questions to the girl because she's really, really trying to blame Makoto. And now she's seeming like she's trying to figure out every possible way to make somebody else be at fault. Could just be her throwing out accusations, which, mind you, I would do as well. But, I don't know. It's starting to seem like her. They're both females, pal. I was gonna say. You are? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's incredible. Bro is me for real. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's true. One other person did come to the dining hall while we were there. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Because it's... Well, because they're not here anymore. <gasps> Sayaka, she's the one who came to the dining hall. And then later, she wound up dead.
Was this a s I got it. Then Sayaka is the one who took the knife? That's the only possibility. Wow, that and changes things. She was acting kind of unusual. So does she have a panic attack and off herself? When she came into the dining hall, she didn't even look at us. She just went straight to the kitchen. As she left, she said she just wanted a drink of water. But most likely, the person who took the knife was the victim herself. I'm sure. I'm sure she just took it for self-defense. So you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her and she was killed with it? In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. Dang it! That's true! Dang it! He's got a point! He did do it after all. See, though, she really wants to shift the blame. Like, diff really, really, really. That's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction. Hmm. You possess the most terrifying talent. And you possess the most terrifying amount of weight. Shut up. They're gonna blame me for the murder. Don't they understand? If they convict me, everyone's gonna die. I love this girl, bro. She's awesome. What a legend. Because you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. And until we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't declare that he's the killer. Well, now I'm curious what they do. What the hell are you talking about? Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? No. It's about to begin. Would you like to Yes, please. As things advance further in class trial, the hangman's gambit will eventually take place. The point is just to reveal an important phrase related to the incident in question. You'll have to deduce the phrase from the letters flying around the letters already known. Complete the phrase by shooting down the flying letters in the right order. Oh boy. If you shoot down the wrong letters, you'll suffer damage to influence gouge. You fail. Good luck and have fun. But wasn't. That must be the crucial point. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, H, I, H, A, I. No, wait, go back. No. There we go. I understand. I understand. I understand. I figured it was the hair, but I just want to be sure. Sorry, I had to get I had to get the grip of how that worked. Okay. There wasn't a single hair on the floor. I was I th I thought I had it the first time, but I didn't. So, <sighs> the culprit removed some evidence? Yes, and if I were the culprit, why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own room? In his own room. It wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene. If the crime scene is in my room. There you go. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that Sayaka had ever been there. That makes sense, does it not? No. If that were the case, they would have had to do something about the body itself, not just her hair. Fair point. <laughs> yes, very You're not helping by being a wingman. Wasn't there any hair on the ground? The killer got rid of it all, of course, to remove any trace that they had ever been there. Then that means it's not Makoto. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. Then Makoto isn't the culprit? Are you sure we can decide something so important based solely on the absence of some hair? No, there are other reasons that prove why Makoto couldn't have- This girl is giving me such sighs of relief, bro. I couldn't believe it. Holy crap. I'm just- every time she talks, I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> yes, it had a woman in it. I don't exactly get those very often in my day-to-day -day life. Attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom, right? Yeah. Then they ran after her, got into the bathroom, and stabbed her. And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? What do you mean? It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. There was clear evidence left behind. Do you remember, Makoto? The evidence that proves it is the object the killer broke. That's just the doorknob. Here we go. I got it. Evidence that the killer had trouble getting into the bathroom. You're talking about the doorknob, right? Correct. The doorknob? What doorknob? Okay, I'm enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this. It was completely If you can't tell. See how the top part was unscrewed and the doorknob's about ready to fall off? Oh yeah, true. But what does it mean? It means someone had to use their toolkit. Trying to bypass the lock. 
they ended up nearly removing the entire doorknob. This is another most bewildering act for the room's owner. It proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. So what? You're saying he wouldn't break the door in his own room? But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. There's nothing bewildering about it. You still don't see? Okay, then. Let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Hopefully that will help you understand. Dude, keep going. You're spitting straight facts, girl. I love this. Okay, I almost didn't know this first, but it's that... The key point there, there's a bit more to learn about nonstop debates. Yeah, keep telling me. The number of weak spots will start going up, but no matter how many weak spots, there's essentially only one lie or contradiction. What I'm trying to say is not all weak spots you see are false. Use a truth bullet on the wrong one, and not only will you fail to refute what they said, you'll lower your trust with anyone, and your influence gods will take damage. If your influence god reaches zero, you fail. You'll have to rely on your own logic to determine which weak spots are lies or contradiction. Good luck and have fun. The bathroom door frame. Okay, we have to pay close attention, so here we go. Yep. That's not a weak. That's not. Nope. Okay. Nope. Oh. Dang it. I'm so bad at this. Goodness me. I'm a freaking idiot. My bathroom didn't open wasn't because it was locked. After all, the girls' rooms are the only ones with walking bathrooms, right? Yes, now that you mention it, that is true. Then why didn't your bathroom door open? Because it was stuck. Huh? What are you talking about? My bathroom door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. Monokuma over there can testify to that. Brother, what do you think you're doing with that dumbass pose? Whoops, my bad. But you saw the subtitle. So the reason the door didn't open was just because it was stuck. But the killer didn't know that and assumed it was locked. So they tore apart the doorknob to get in. But I knew it was stuck. Okay. But then why would the killer even think the door was locked in the first place? Everyone should have known you can't lock any of the boys' bathrooms. Who switched the nameplates then? The killer could easily make that mistake. Thanks to one important detail about the scene of the crime. There you go was locked because so they didn't know the door actually couldn't be locked in other words the important detail about the scene of the crime they didn't know that it was in his room yep because the switch nameplates you must not have realized that it was my room what? are you saying the culprit didn't even know where he was that's inconceivable inconceivable i hate how you say that to be more specific what the killer didn't know was that Makoto and Sayaka had switched rooms, which is what led to the misunderstanding about the bathroom. If Sayaka had been in her own room, then... Then there would have been a lock on the door, and they would have had to break through. True. So they had no idea how unnecessary their actions were. Yep, exactly. Ultimately, we can't know if it came open by force or simply by accident, but the killer must have been considerably confused, with no idea how they actually got the door open. Regardless, it was a pointless act. Wasting time trying to break down a door that wasn't locked is... Definitely something I wouldn't do, since I would have known exactly why it wasn't opening. Right? That is a definite possibility. Took you long enough. So the killer would have to be someone who didn't know they'd switched rooms? Then Makoto couldn't have done it. Yeah, and it would have been you. No, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. And who did do it? I wish. But what happens if we can't decide on who we think did it? Well, why don't we just vote right now? Majority rules. And that's a bad idea. Majority rules? You really think that's a good idea? Absolutely bad idea. Yeah. Our necks are on the line here. Someone seriously needs to do something. For serious. Does no one have any other thoughts or questions? It does not matter how trivial they may seem. Oh, as here we go. Fact, I do have one question. What you got? Oh. You. Why do you say it like that? Yeah, I was gonna say, why you gotta say it like that, bro? Just ask your question. Oh yeah. Okay. So, um, well, I was just wondering, how did the culprit get into Makoto's room in the first place? Hmm. Yes. It's a good question. How did the killer get inside? 
Because she locked it. Maybe Sayaka just dropped the key somewhere and the culprit picked it up. That's possible, right? I don't think so. That seems way too convenient. Then maybe someone picked the lock? Negative. If you remember, Monokuma made it quite clear that the locks are all unpickable. Hey, good detail. Fine. How about this? The killer got in the easy way. They could have knocked and said they wanted to talk or something, and Miss Maizono just let him in. Honestly, that's a really good point. That can't be it either. Oh, trying to argue against me? Sounds like someone doesn't know his place. Brother, you had me for a second. Why would you lose me like that? Oh, why exactly can't that be it? Because she asked me to do something in particular, how frightened she was. That's the answer right there. There's no way Sal could let someone in because... I don't know. Uh... I guess this. I got it. Because Sayaka was already scared, remember? That's why she asked me to switch rooms in the first place. Just don't open the door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Knowing what she'd been through, I just can't believe she would have opened the door for anyone. What if her being scared was a lie? Why would it be a lie? But that is an interesting point. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Why would she lie about something like that? I know you don't want to consider it, but look at this and tell me. Can you look at this? What you got? There's something I want to talk to you about, just us two. In five minutes, come see me in my room. Check the nameplates to make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? Sayaka. Interesting! I found a notepad during my search, and I shaded in the top sheet with a pencil, and these are the words that appear. Oh, man! I've totally seen people do that on detective shows. Who is that to? It can leave an imprint. Sketch over the next sheet of paper, and you can see the words. When I saw that, I was like, holy crap! Better make sure I rip the paper out before I use it from now on. It's a pretty old fashioned technique, but even the classics can be surprisingly useful sometimes. Especially when you're in a place like this, you don't got much to work with. I should also mention, I found the notepad on the desk in Makoto's room. Huh? What's that mean? Which means only someone who had been in Makoto's room before the incident could have written it. Which means it was Makoto who lived there, or Sayaka who switched rooms for a single night. So, Makoto, did you write this? Well, obviously not. Of course you didn't. Because the note also bears a perfectly legible signature. Sayaka's signature. Yep. Then that note, Sayaka wrote it. Why? Why would she write it? Oh, this is so good! It was likely her way of getting in touch with a certain someone. She must have slid it under their door to let them know she wanted to meet with them in secret. You got an invitation like that from the ultimate pop sensation. If you're anything like me, bro, you certainly wouldn't be able to because you and I, we get no girls. You know what I'm saying? I'm only into 2D, so it wouldn't have any effect on me. They, we say that because we know it wouldn't happen anyway. Trust me. But can you be sure anyone even got this note? And honestly, even if they did, I do not think they are at all involved in what happened. Huh? What makes you say that? <laughs> Would you like to hear what I have to say? Very well then. Pay attention. Paying attention. Uh, oh, one of these. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Dorm nameplate. Okay, we gotta make sure we don't screw this up. Correct. Correct. Yep. Okay. Uh-huh. Someone did read the note, and they would not have any connection. Yep. So which one do I use it on here? This one. Yes. Okay. I took a guess, and it worked. Well, I mean, an educated guess. My and Sayaka's rooms got switched. They got switched. That's right. The nameplates got switched, just like the room. I took an educated guess, and I figured that one made the most sense. The nameplate on Sayaka's room actually had Makoto's name, and the nameplate on Makoto's room had Sayaka's. So what you're saying is, the room Sayaka was staying in was actually marked as her room. Then, if someone did do what the note said, they would end up at Makoto's room where Sayaka was. Exactly. Yes, their rooms are right next to each other, so switching the nameplates would be no problem. Also true. And the one who switched the names was, well, of course it wasn't you, right Makoto? 
Right. Well, okay. <laughs> who did it? There's only one person who could have switched the nameplates. The only other person who knew we had switched rooms. Sayaka. Wow. Sayaka were the only ones who ever knew about us switching rooms. So the only other person besides me who would even know to switch the nameplates is Sayaka. You can also infer as much from her note. There's something I want to talk to you about. Just us two in five minutes. Come see me in a room. But it says, check the nameplates. Exactly. It specifically tells the reader to check the nameplates. She would only have written that if she knew the nameplates had been switched. But why would she switch them in the first place? She wanted someone to come to the room she was in and also hide the fact that it was Makoto's room. What? Inviting someone to your room but not telling them you'd switch rooms. Why would anyone do that? To understand that, we first need to understand what happened after she invited the person into the room. I'd like to know. That's where the answer lies. You're going to tell me, right? What happened then was probably whoever she invited over came in and attacked her. No, really? We figured it out. We know who did it. Whoever she invited over is the culprit. That doesn't help us, though. don't know who it is, you've got Exactly, that doesn't help us. fought with your killer there in the room, yes? Perhaps the answer to our previous question lies in that initial struggle. Yes, I think you're right. Then... We just have to figure out what happened during the fight, right? That reminds me. There was a replica sword at the murder scene. Was that perhaps used during the fight? Oh, yeah. What's the deal with that sword? Sayaka suggested I should hold on to it. I thought it might come in handy if I had to defend myself. Yes, and whoever used the sword's got a lot of gold on their hands, brother. used it to break Sayaka's right wrist. How the hell could you possibly know that's what broke her wrist? When you look at her wrist, there's no doubt. There we go. All you have to do is take a good look at her broken wrist, and it should become pretty Also, sorry for the lack of commentary. I'm just focusing on this, bro. This is so good. There's something glittery there. See? Is that gold? It sure is. Specifically, the gold coating from the replica sword. You barely have to touch that stuff, and it'll stick right to you. And there's some on her wrist because... I got her! Because she got hit with the sword right there on her wrist! How'd you figure that out? <laughs> I'm skipping you. Then it's about time to solve this mystery. What happened in my room? And what led to Sayaka's death? That's what we need to make clear. There's a bit more to learn about. Yes, I want to hear more! Goodness! Are you getting used to these debates? Starting with the next debate, I'll start learning multiple truth bullets. But just like with the weak spots, only one of those bullets can actually refute the proper statement. From here on out, you'll have to combine the right truth bullets with the right weak spots. That's so cool. Come with the wrong combination, you'll take charge to your influence. You can press the Q key to rotate the cylinder and choose which bullet to fire. Press and release the Q key to cycle through each bullet. Okay. Or you can use mouse wheel. By the way, if the logic difficulty set the kind fear but i don't know what that means for our purposes this time logic set the mean okay thanks man appreciate you making it difficult on me i have replica sword sheath kitchen knife set replica sword i have the sheath the knife and the sword which one is wrong i have 10 minutes to figure this out There's no explanation for how a certain part of the sword got damaged. Can I do this? Good. I got it. I'm so happy I got that. That took me a second to figure out because I had to think, what are the options here? Because the sword sheath had been scratched. See? There's a gash in it. Like someone cut into it with something sharp. Something sharp? You mean like the kitchen knife? That was the only sharp thing found at the scene. Stop jumping ahead. Slow down and explain. <laughs> <laughs> I feel this. If yep. The sword was used first. There wouldn't be any explanation for the scratch on the sheath. If you are going to attack with the sword, you take it out of the sheath first, right? That's true. With the sheath on, it'd be heavy and bulky and useless as shit. So did she take the sword and use it to try to block the knife? If they got attacked with the kitchen knife, maybe they got the sword as a defensive impulse. I figured something out on my own! Kind of. True, she just grabbed it and ding as they sliced this knife at her. Attack first. 
I think I get it. So here's how it all played out. The culprit came in, found the kitchen knife hidden there somewhere. Then they took the knife and attacked Sayaka before she knew what was happening. Or what if, hear me out, Sayaka invited this person over to kill them so that she could get out and go check on her band members. She took a swipe at them. This person freaked out, saw the sheath, quickly grabbed it to defend. Sayaka messed up and then the other person killed her in self-defense, freaked out. Couldn't believe she did it. Had to clean up all the hair and then burn the trash. Could have been that Sayaka swiped first and then failed and the other person killed her. Am I wrong? Probably. But you know what? That'd be interesting if she did. So she grabbed the sword to defend herself. But then the culprit took that from her too. Then, after they broke her wrist with the sword, they took the knife and finished it. Sorry, but I don't think Sayaka used the sword to defend herself. What? How the hell can you not think that? Because she never held the sword at all. There's a certain part of her body that makes this clear. So she never used the sword. If you want to use the sword, which part of your body would have to touch it? Her palms. There you go. Uh -huh. So she tried to kill somebody and failed and got killed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So we're about to kill someone for killing her in self-defense. So it was the girl and she's so nervous to be caught because she didn't want to do it. Wow. Wow. Maybe she washed her hands after she made a space into the bathroom. Sorry, but I don't think... Yeah, that wouldn't make sense. Why do you say that? Is it because you think I'm ugly? What? What does that have to do with this? No, that's not it at all. There's no way Saka washed gold coin off her hands because there's a certain regulation that talks about what happens to the bathrooms at night. The water goes off. Oh Damn! Oh okay. Saka's so time of death was around 1.30 a.m. In other words... At nighttime, and the water in the bathroom shuts off at nighttime, right? I'm so glad this is voice acted. I didn't want to read all this. Actually, I Ew! <laughs> you liked it, you freak. You're no different. You smell like a big, fat, ugly donkey. Hmm? I'm not sure what it's Me. The one who damaged would have to be the one without the sword. Wow! She had the kitchen knife? But we already said that the attack started with... The person with the knife attacked first, and the sword was used as an impromptu defense. And the one who attacked first was... Sayaka? Wow! She wasn't a blameless victim in this. No, far from it. It's almost as if she'd been planning to commit a murder of her own. She took the knife from the kitchen, then invited the culprit to the room she was staying in. And if it's true that she had the kitchen knife banned attack without provocation... Indeed. These are all the actions of an assailant. Which brings up another point. Nothing more. Sayaka was the one who suggested you two switch rooms. She was gonna frame me! Ho! Wow, dude! on me? She's. I knew she's been playing us. I think I said it at one point in an earlier episode. What's going on with his face? I think I said it in an earlier episode. She has been playing me. There's no way she's just being this nice to me. Damn. But now I feel bad for trying to out kill her because it's just someone who was in self defense. Just tell everyone they switched rooms. I don't know. 
I'm not sure our soft-hearted Makoto is capable of that kind of cutthroat behavior. Huh? Thank you. Sayaka realized the same thing, which is why out of all of us, she asked him to switch rooms. This is what I get for being a simp. Bro realized he'd been played and that he never had a chance and that the flagpole going up was worthless. Hey! Oh, okay. See, in that case, you're using it to defend me, so I appreciate it. She very much did. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro! <laughs> uh huh. And she was forced to drop the knife. The tables were suddenly turned on her, and she died at the hands of the one she planned to murder. Just hold on. That can't be true. Because. 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 Hey, hey. You guys have totally derailed the argument. You're being super boring right now. Come on, hurry up and decide who did it. That's not fair. It would be awful if I had to punish you all just because you ran out. That's not fair. Oh yeah, we gotta decide who we think did it. Makoto, right now you just need to concentrate on figuring out the answer to this mystery. If we can't uncover who murdered Sayaka, it's over for all of us. Is it really all over? Obviously I'm committed to find out who killed her, but what can I do? I mean, as far as clues go, there's nothing left. <sighs> okay. What we got? Dying message. Yep, I remember that. It's easy just to say hey, decide if they're just not any more clues. False. Could have mentioned this 20 years ago, but you know, it's fine. There still might be one clue left. Sayaka's dying message. Dining. Wait. Dining. <laughs> the dying message. She wrote something on the wall behind her. Remember? One, one, zero, three, seven. Well, before we get too far into that, I need to ask, can we really be sure that Sayaka is the one who wrote- I was the same one who thought that same thing last time, and it's mainly because how is she expected to, in her dying weakness, turn her wrist around and write PERFECT NUMBERS BACKWARDS? Nah, that don't work. Left in his finger. It's got blood on her hand, but like finger had blood on it. That could only be because she used that finger to write the message. I don't know. She broke her right wrist during the fight. So she'd have to use her left hand. This is my left hand, so like one, one, zero. That would be almost impossible. I think we can all agree Sayaka wrote it. But what the heck do those numbers mean? One, one, zero, three, seven? Hey Chihiro, you're a computer nerd or whatever, right? You should know all about numbers and shit. No, that's not... Yes, I'm a programmer, but I don't see any kind of meaning in these numbers. Of course. It's because they're not numbers. Oh, yeah, it looks like... What? 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 I'm, I'm with you. It's just... A look at the numbers, assuming they're not numbers. Don't these first two, one, one, look less like two numbers and more like one letter? An N? Ah, oh, you're right. The connecting line is barely there, so I assumed it was one one, but So N O looking at it now, you could also read it as an N. Whoa. You might have finally just said something <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Ew, go away. Leon. Rotate the image 180 degrees. Yeah. Yep. Leon. Oh my god. Now I see. She wrote down the killer's name. Huh? You just shot past the clue card and right on to who did it. So, whose name did she write? If you turn our message 180 degrees, it should become crystal clear. Uh. The key 
key to solving this mystery was simply to rotate the writing 180 degrees. If you turn the message around, it becomes the letters L E O N. No way. L E O N. Or more accurately, Leon. What the hell are you talking about? It's just a coincidence. It's just a bunch of random squiggles that happen to look like my name. No, it's not random at all. She wrote that message on the wall behind her as she was leaning up against it. In that position, she couldn't move to write normally and had to write upside down as it were. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's what I saw when I was just sitting there in silence was his buttoned up sleeves. How do you get the key? That alone isn't enough. But there are some other things that may reveal the truth. Are you finally starting to understand? The answers to all the riddles are right here. No, I'm not actually. Glad you are. The burnt remains of the button-up shirt, which Chloe wasn't able to get rid of. There's something about it we need to pay attention to in order to figure out who's responsible. How? You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? And obviously, you wouldn't be able to hit the switch to turn it on either. You'd need the key to get in. And the one with the key was the person on cleaning duty. How'd you know that? I didn't think you knew that. had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of the trash, right? <laughs> hey, he's like, wait, that's me. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh, to uh, to throw the shirt in there and throw the crystal ball at it to click the button. And he's a baseball player, so he's going to be an accurate thrower. Oh, my goodness. I'm just... Everything's coming together. Ah. There we go. I almost messed it up with the first one. The baseball player is going to have accuracy because he's ultimate baseball player. But he's trying to change his... Uh, Change his but ultimate, but doesn't gate, take doesn't. Turn on the it doesn't refute the fact that he's an accurate baseball player all his life. Okay, I'd use glass ball in a certain way, which was throw it. Someone turned the incinerator on. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down there. Which was a lot easier. Left running. True. You wouldn't have made a mistake like that. But the distance from the gate to the 
incinerator has to be at least 30 feet, right? The pinpoint accuracy you'd need to throw a glass ball that far and hit something that small can only be done by an ultimate baseball player. That, that's right. There's no way. It'd be impossible. Difficult. Absolutely. Impossible? I don't think so. Because the killer is... I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I hate this for you because you were just acting in self-defense. You seem so cool, bro. It's not even your fault. Okay. What the hell do you mean end this? Say what you want, Leon. But all the questions have been answered. And the truth has been revealed. Now here's what happened. The closing argument is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely. Every case has one last element to bring the class trial to the end. This is the closing argument. In this phase, you'll give a complete summary of the case. You'll have to reproduce the flow of events for the case in the form of a comic book. You'll notice that in the comic, there are a number of pieces missing. It's up to you to complete the comic using the provided truth panels. If you take aim at a missing section and press the left mouse button, holy cow, you'll get a hint that might lead to a breakthrough. Good luck and have fun. What? I'll just figure it out when I'm in. I Whoa. Oh. Oh. Uh, my room was the scene of the crime. The incident began when the killer entered. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. First, when Sayaka attacked the killer with the knife, they noticed something in my room. I got 20 minutes to do this, so that's good. Okay, so this. Okay. They used that object to deflect Sayaka's attack, which is why that evidence was damaged, which is this. Okay. After the killer countered Sayaka's attack with an attack of their own, what'd they do next? Oh, wait. Wait, hang on. There we go. And then... Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, after the killer counterattack with an attack of their own, what did they do next? This, I guess? They forced the bathroom door open. The only logical way they could have done that was... This. Alright. After she was stabbed, she used the last of her strength to leave something behind. The note. The killer used an item in my room to help dispose of evidence, which is obviously this. The object the killer threw to activate the incinerator must have been the crystal ball. Nope. The crystal ball. What the killer threw in the incinerator was their shirt. The piece of evidence left behind the trash room was this thing. I think I should be good. There we go. All right. I think I better take one more look back at the... Yep. Oh, boy. Savage Sayaka, bro. That she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room and fought back. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. And that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen. Ooh, there it is. I understand it was self-defense, but you could have just ran. But with what strength she had remained, like, you could have blocked her shot and then said, nah, brah, and then, like, broke her wrist, made her drop the knife, and said, nah, brah, I'm out of here. As soon as she shut the door in the bathroom. So, like, you didn't have to kill her, but also... Like, it was a crazy moment. I get it, kind of. With Sayaka dead, the killer quickly began destroying the evidence. First, they took off their shirt, 
which was covered in their victim's blood. Then they took the lint roller in my room and cleaned up the entire area. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. Especially with his red hair, it would have been very visible. The killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there, but the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate, preventing access to the incinerator. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he left in the laundry room. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate and hit the incinerator switch. For any normal person, that'd be an impossible throw. But the killer had the confidence to take a shot, and that's because the killer was the ultimate baseball star. Damn! The crystal ball, thrown with absolute precision, hit the switch on the incinerator, which then quickly roared to life. destroyed the final piece of evidence they left the area with i imagine a sigh of relief but there was one thing they missed part of the shirt they'd thrown into the fire burnt away and fell out of the incinerator the killer didn't notice this and so left behind a piece of indisputable evidence Ooh, it says ba boom. It says. <laughs> okay, we did it. it but I hate this because, like, it was just self-defense. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt, and that's where you saw it. Ah, there it is. The ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. So, Leon, do you object to anything? He's gonna object. Obviously, it's life or death. Any sane person would object. This is just a bunch of stupid theories. You need evidence. Where's the evidence? We got evidence. It's all bullshit. It's bullshit, and I refuse to acknowledge it. Well then, I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. She has some? I believe you're in possession of that evidence. I am! The first bullet time battle is about to begin. Yes! Stop asking me if I want to! Sometimes in a class trial, your opponent simply won't want to hear what you have to say. When this happens, you will engage them in a head-to-head -head battle. We like to refer to this as bullet time battle. Okay, the BTP, by the way. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Uh, during the BTP, you want to destroy your opponent's statements and time with the rhythm. Match your button presses with each tempo marker as they move across the screen and reach the center. Lock to an opponent's statement. Sure, a statement you've locked onto with the last mouth button is that it reaches the center. So, just as they come up, just hit them. Deal enough damage to your opponent, the weak spot statement will appear. At that point, you can press the left mouse button to shoot it down with a truth bullet like any other statement. Feed their statement fast enough and you'll come out victorious. Just like for... Okay. Alright. When the killer removed the screws from the doorknob, they didn't use anything from your room to do it. Instead, they must have used something that belonged to them. I refuse to acknowledge you. You're stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I mean, someone who's caught is going to act like that, obviously. The moment of truth. <sighs> Here we go. How do I do this? I see, I see, I see. I got it. I got it. There we go. I lie. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. There we go. Fatal strike toolkit. Boom. The screws on the bathroom doorknob were removed. I wonder what kind of tool the killer used to remove them. A screwdriver like in the mail toolkit. It had to be a screwdriver, right? The tool kits we got each had one inside. You think the teddy bear's annoyed at how long we're taking? There aren't any other tools anywhere. But the toolkit in my room has clearly never been used. That's because the culprit didn't know it was your room. They thought 
thought they were in Sayaka's room. Only the boys got two pets, so the killer naturally assumed there wouldn't be one in there. Okay, then whose toolkit did the killer use? Stupid, stupid, stupid! <laughs> yeah, okay. It'd be their very own toolkit. Stupid, 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 stupid! <laughs> Would you mind showing us your toolkit? If I'm right about this, then the screwdriver will show some evidence of being used. There you go. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Huh? And if you say you used it for something else, you'll have to explain exactly when, where, and why. And let me say this right now. I lost it isn't an excuse at this point. True. Stupid. Stupid. It was me. He says, oh, look at that face. He's caught. Oh, I hate that for him. Poor guy. No rebuttal. Then it would seem we are finished here. Oh, no. I feel bad for him because it was just self-defense. I got an A. Not as good as an S, but better than what I could have gotten. I'm sorry, did that say 74? <laughs> Looks like you've reached your Hey! Limit. Without having to retry a single time! Hey! That's pretty cool! You all have a lever in front of you. Use it to make your selection. Oh, just to remind you all, make triple sure you vote for someone. You wouldn't want to be punished for something so minor, right? So you can just not vote, but okay. you get punished for that? Then let's get excited! Uh, so we have to vote. Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Imagine it's not him and this is like the biggest. Imagine it's not him, but this is like the biggest plot twist ever and it's someone else and we all lose because of it. I got the achievement, but imagine, bro. That would be the biggest thing. Right? Okay. Well, never mind. Uh -huh. Yep, I've I've been proven wrong in two seconds. Poor guy. Hey, hold on. Did you really? I, I didn't have a choice. So that's why none of you are any different. I was just <laughs> unlucky. That's all. Hey, come on! Now think about that. I'd be better off if we'd been wrong. Because if we came up with really the truth, that truth the cycle was trying to frame me. Ah, <sighs> the mastermind. It's all because of that video. Yep. Exactly what I said earlier on. Even I couldn't handle what I saw. The video. Wow. She didn't want to be irrelevant. I did whatever it took to reach that dream. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. That's why Sayaka for the friends that meant so much to her. That's why she betrayed me. So when she said, No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. I kind of caught on to that too. I said she's using you. I think I said because like I was like, there's no way she just randomly falls in love with us like that. There's no way. Must sure be terrifying to try and kill someone just because of those relationships. Yep. Compassion, intimacy, love. The stronger those feelings, the stronger the despair when they collapse. That's why when people do crimes out of love, like I loved you and you betrayed me, my understanding is that uh, attorneys will actually argue that it was a love-based crime and they will actually give lesser sentences because of that because it is a proven fact that love literally makes you act in a way that you wouldn't have acted otherwise. Maybe you still would have done something similar, but not such a severe reaction if you weren't in love. And that is an actual argued thing in court that they give Give lesser sentences for or I could be completely wrong but I'm pretty sure I saw that somewhere suddenly the friends you had lunch don't do that yeah yep. good because you get yourself killed Wait a 
second. Yeah, that's it. When you forced your way into the bathroom, did you or did you not use your very own toolkit? That's what I'm saying. He could have left. He could have booked it and left, but he made sure to finish the job. You didn't have to do that. That took a while. Yeah, you literally left and came back. Exactly. I had enough of this. You're closer to the name one. He killed your prince. <laughs> Shut up. Nothing more unethical than an unwavering sense of justice. It's people with that sort of mentality that perpetuate war all over the world. More importantly, I tell you, I have to get to what everyone's been waiting for. Yeah. Poor guy. I feel bad for him. This poor guy, dude. I feel so bad for him. But also, she's right. He had every chance not to do it. Oh, boy. Wow, they really animated this. Okay. I never expected it to be him, but here we go. Oh, no. Is he about to get hit in the face with a freaking baseball at 100 miles an hour? And they're all just watching it. Oh, what an awful way to go out, dude. Damn! That's nothing but pain till the very end! They put their heart and soul into this animation, dude. This is crazy. And that's it. Gone. But again, he... Self-defense, yes, but he had the chance to stop himself, but he didn't. That was the true face of despair. We can't call that. What else could we call it? You said it. You don't like it, could just kill someone. Or that too. Why are you putting an upstanding young citizen like me through such a grueling ordeal? It's like trying to put a mile on a scale, I just don't think it's possible. Yeah, I agree, that's confusing. I don't know who you are, but uh, yeah, don't really hate me to get so angry. What happened happened more because you decided you wanted to get out. No matter how much time passes, you can't cut free of your regrets from the outside world. You're to blame. Boy, isn't it so wonderful how we all get to live here forever. I feel like there's some deeper meaning hidden in there, just like before. Oh! Yeah, this is like Squid Game or Hunger Games where people are watching. Like more people than- We're all being watched like a reality show! No way, bro! Oh, no. Even after he was gone, we stood there forever. I
We stood there forever, unable to move. Actually, no, it wasn't that long. Everyone just lost their sense of time. We were all too scared. Scared of being alone. <sighs> no one even tried to speak. Their faces were stone, their voices dead. It was in that moment. Just a second. Makoto. Before we head back, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's about Sayaka. I'm surprised you figured it out. I told you before the class trial started, you had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. You want me to realize how Sayaka betrayed me by myself, didn't you? Thought never even crossed my mind. I feel like such a fool becoming such an easy target like that. That's a fact that you can never change. But even till the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision. As she lay dying, she was thinking of you. you. Can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you can know that. Uh, even if we can ask her, you can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. The fact she used her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. If she didn't care what happened to you, she never would have left that message. Certainly. I don't think that's what it was. She was uncertain. She wasn't sure she could kill someone or deceive you, which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me all this? You're the kind of person who can overcome this. You can move past the deaths of your friends and keep moving forward. Without someone like that, the others would never be able to break free of such a desperate situation. Move past their deaths? Well, it suppress the memories, bro. I'm going to carry them with me the rest of my life. How can I possibly move past something like that? Leon, Sayaka, I'll carry them with me forever. I mean, I feel that, but still, you know. I have high expectations for you. I said that she revealed the smallest yeah. smile. I have to admit, I'm curious. How do you know I want to talk to you about Sayaka? Well, I'm psychic. <laughs> uh, bro pulled a Sayaka. <laughs> All right, the end. Whew. Okay. Is this like Squid Game where only one person gets to leave? To be continued. Finish chapter one. Okay. You know what? That's gonna be everything. I'm not going any further than that. You're gonna have to wait to see the next part. Cause damn, that was a good episode. I loved that so much, dude. And if you enjoyed and you're excited to see the next part, you already know what's coming because you guys have played and watched the game, but I haven't. So if you're excited to see how I react, which I know you're not, but if you are, leave a like, leave a comment and Boy, you better subscribe because I just watched another person die and I took it like it was nothing. I'm definitely not traumatized. So anyways, it's 1230 in the morning, which for me is not bad, but I'm going to go to bed and think about all this and think about how successful I was and how perfect of a person I am. And I appreciate you sticking with me through the end of chapter one. Bit of a longer video, I know, but I'm sure you're fine with it. Anyways, I don't know how I'm going to end this video, so... Penis.